Hello pig farmers and pig lovers. Welcome back to Edovasa Pig Channel. I'm Daniel Lese, the founder of Edovasa Pig Farm, Enugu. Uh, today I want to share with you uh, a topic, <coughs> this topic, uh, what to expect or what to look out for after crossing your sow or your guilt. What to look out for signs to look out for after crossing your guilt now after after servicing your guilt or your sow with a boy there are certain things you look out for and uh, some of this uh, especially the negative ones can actually be prevented if you treated your sow, your guilt, your boa before each service. But uh, a lot of pig farmers, they would rather learn by trial and error and keep losing time and losing animals, uh, even falling into wrong hands than trying to learn from a right source. You now, at least, uh, Edovasa Pig Farm have been on for some time now, going over two years now. A lot of people watch these videos, a lot of people watch this lesson. They just come in, watch, take whatever they can, add to whatever knowledge they already have. But when they really want to get service, get help for their farm, they end up uh, going to the wrong guys. At the end of the day, they come back to you know, expect me to give them free help, but we don't offer any free help. The only free thing we offer in Edovasa Pig Farm is what you are getting now, these free videos, free teachings. But uh, why I say all this is because I'm already, as part of our, those lessons we do cover during our weekend training, weekend pig husbandry training, I've started articulating all those lessons into a kind of a guide, a manual uh, guide, book, something like that, that can help the farmer, his workers, even when uh, experts are not around, they can just go through the book because the book is going to, we are taking care of how, how you can look after all your pigs at every stage of their life. We just went through the book. We used the, the life cycle of a pig to prepare the book. So that uh, the book is not yet ready. I'm still dotting my eyes and crossing my teeth. I, I, I decided I initially wanted to make it a kind of uh, just a small uh, manual for something I can give to my weekend uh, pig farmers uh, that came to my farm for training, but I've decided to turn it into a book. So I'm just dotting my eyes, crossing my teeth. It's not yet uh, ready, even though you can anticipate it, but it's not yet uh, ready for now. All right, so why I, shared, why I, I left the topic and said all this is, the, is this. Because this topic we are sharing today is very, very key. It will help you, if you understand this lesson very well, it will help you not to lose time it, uh, and waste time with your animals without getting any results. Because uh, when you cross a female pig, you're expecting something. And at the end of the day, if nothing comes out of it, you did not just lose time. All the feed you gave that female animal during that time can never be recovered. All the amount you used in spending, you, you spent on feeding her during those days can never be recovered. It can never be recovered. It's a loss for the farm. And that's why to avoid all these losses, why not get a mentor? Why not get someone that will help you out? It might not be a dovasa. 
but every business I ask every business guru I ask every successful business person they will all tell you one thing they have a mentor they have a mentor they have a mentor but when it comes to pig farming we feel like uh, our mentor is facebook and uh, check out the information you are getting on facebook so many of these guys are not even pig farmers they will just go on one ebook grab a uh, copy and paste and uh, go you know and uh, you are calling them asking them for advice and they are giving you bullshit information that will not help your farm okay now let's go into the topic proper um what to expect what to look out for after crossing your female pig your guilt your sow remember if you can uh treat your sow your guilt your boar before service it will help please don't come back to ask me what you used to treat your guilt, your sow, your boar. I've already shared that information several times. If you cannot go through our page and browse it out, then pay for our mentorship, uh, online question and answer mentorship question, uh, session. So you can get the, I can give you the information. So like I said, the only thing I share here is free. I don't expect, if you, even if you ask me a question under what I shared, I won't answer you because it's, uh, you are now encroaching into my private time and uh, space, and you have to pay for that. Okay, uh, after crossing your guilt and your sow, for the, sometime for the first three days, you will, experience, you, you will see, uh, if you cross your guilt and your sow early, maybe on the first day or second day of it, or third day of heat for the first few days usually up to three days you will see something like a, 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 a heavy muco falling out from her vagina the female from her vagina now that is normal those are just excess semen coming out that's normal okay then the second thing you can also uh, observe after crossing your female pig is this uh, up to, uh, this one can last even more than seven days that is a uh, same uh, milk uh, something that milk uh, a milk uh, something that is a uh, milkish milk like substance and sometimes if you try to perceive it it's it has a very foul odor and sometimes uh, some cell in some cells it might not even be very clear you won't even notice especially if you always keep their rooms dirty you won't notice uh, to even notice in such situations you have to use your hand and open her vagina area a little you see that that place is a bit uh, is watery or something like that now this kind of fluid flows up to more than more than seven days but it's still normal but uh, this that second fluid flow happen usually happen especially if you use artificial insemination and uh, i don't know if you, if you use artificial insemination you see that uh, they fill in up to a hundred mil bottle of semen and pour into your cell two times am and pm so due to that heavy uh, in, inject of that ai so that sometimes you see that in flowing out ss semen coming out up to more than seven days but that one is usually not a problem you know then the third one which is actually a problem is you don't after the first muco fell out you didn't observe anything you didn't see any muco you didn't see any milk stuff after maybe third day you didn't see anything then coming to the 16th sometimes 14th day 14th to 16th or even 20th day you will now start observing uh, a fluid uh, it can sometimes it can be bloody sometimes it's just milkish sometimes it's something else now if you check very well and it start coming out 14th 15th 16th day that one is usually a problem that one indicates a presence of a uh, uh, 
some reproductive uh, 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 disease, reproductive tracts, vaginal tract infection. Now, you, uh, usually when you cross your females, it's usually on the 14th day that those, the sperm fertilizing the eggs and all that, it's usually on the 14th day that embryos, that's baby piglets, begin to get attached into the mother's, into the sow's womb, usually on that 14th, 15th, 16th day. But when you start getting that fluid coming out from that 14th, 15th, 16th day, know that that female pig was unable to go through that embryo attachment, piglet attachment to the womb. And this, that uh, fluid like something coming out during that time, 14th, 15th, 16th day, will always follow, uh, what will follow after them is uh, a repeat of heat you discover that your female will come back on heat again. So that's usually, this usually happens because your female, either she has some infection in the uterine wall, uh, vaginal tract, you know, infection that actually attacked the semen and the, that actually entered the womb along with the semen during service and they, they were able to attack the embryos, the, the stuff, and uh, could not allow attachment. Even if at, at the end of the day there is an attachment of embryo, you see that the piglet number will in decrease. Your pig, your pig that's supposed to give you up to 10, 12 piglets will not be giving you one or two or three. That's in case there is eventually pregnancy. She didn't return back on it the number of piglets will be reduced. Now, to um, I say that this because infection followed the semen into the utero, utero, uterus. Now, the truth is this. If you cross your female pig on the second day of heat or on the third day of heat, that area, the uterian, uh, the uterus, releases some of some some of uh, whatever they call is it pro, uh, all those uh, genes and whatever the scientists call them uh pathogens uh is it proteins and uh, whatever just uh, on uh, during that uh, second third day of heat the uterus has a kind of protective shell something that protects uh, uh the environment from infection so if you're able to cross your pig on the second or third day of it, you won't get this issue. But if the pig itself, the sow, the guilt, have infection inside, then you, uh, even after the semen has entered and the place, the, the uterus will not close until that 14th, 15th, 16th day. That's when the uterus will now close, when those embryos will now get attached and the baby piglets will start forming. The uterus will still be open, but during that second and third day of feet, the environment is so harsh that it won't allow, uh, uh, it won't allow uh, this, uh, what, uh, what is it called? Those infections to enter. But from the last day of heat, you know, and the rest, till up to the 14th day, the uterus is still open and now it's very, there is no more uh, harsh environment. And if the female pig has infection, it's now this time that those infections start moving up, moving up into the uterus and start attacking the semen and fertilization that is going on. Now, usually to handle this problem, if your female comes back on heat, when after showing that last sign we mentioned 14 15 16 day she starts releasing some fluid from her vagina and she returns on heat usually one of the first option is to call the female remove the female from the head uh not use the female again sell her to the butchers but if you really want to use the female then you can start treating her of infection before service 
use antibiotics, treat her of infection. You can even call a vet. There is this uh, particular antibiotics uh, that looks like uh, one of these uh, pile medicine that they insert, in, the pile medicine own is that they insert it inside the bum bum of a human being. But for the female pig own, uh, it's a, a kind of antibiotics you insert inside the vagina. So, but you can ask your vet if uh, uh, that kind of medicine is available. But even if it's not available, you can use your regular antibiotics, but use strong antibiotics and treat the pig very well. Contact your vet, treat the pig very well of infection. Treat the boar very well of infection. Don't say I cannot... Uh, inject my boa or my sow they are too big we well, have shown you how you can inject them with a restraining rope pig catcher even if you can't get pig catcher buy from us it's just a uh, four thousand naira then you pay for your way bill so try and inject your pig your sow your boa before crossing before service and uh, treat your infected sow before you cross them again, if they return back on heat. All right, so the video is already too long. If you need any of our products, remember our products can help you run a profitable pig farm, our feeding, smart feeding system. If you need any of our products, just go through the, uh, through the product catalog attached to this video, and I shall see you on the next video. Thank you, and stay blessed.